So if you ask someone what their favorite sports movie of all time was, a lot of people would say Remember the Titans, White Men Can't Jump, maybe Angels in the Outfield, something like that. But my favorite sports movie is actually this hidden gem called Major League. It's right up there with Happy Gilmore in my sports movie hall of fame. Major League is just one of those movies everyone should watch at least once in their lives whether you like baseball or not. This comedy features the perfect runtime at 1 hour and 47 minutes. Just long enough to get a nice story in but not too long to drag it out you know my short attention span can only take so much these days and this is kind of right in that sweet spot anything over two hours is way too long for me so a little bit of background this movie is actually based in cleveland home of the cleveland indians where their owner has recently croaked so this hot young sugar baby wife is handed over this professional sports team like the keys to a clunker i say this because the team sucks and basically she's just trying to flip this situation around and move the whole organization to Florida but the catch is that the team has to bring in less than 800,000 fans for the entire year for this to happen which is not very hard unless you're in dead last for the entire season and so her plan is to sabotage this team of basically misfits these guys were either too old and not worth anything or just completely out of the league the year before how do you think the Indians will do this year it doesn't look too good and even then she doesn't want to take her chances so she still wants to sabotage them and make their lives as terrible as possible i mean even at the beginning of the movie the coach played by lou brown is contemplating whether he'd rather coach the indians or manage a lumberyard that's how bad they're supposed to suck the movie stars charlie sheen and wesley snipes and they're both pretty young here say hey how you doing willie mays hayes here jake taylor here uh, Rick uh, Vaughn. Willie Mays Hayes is the best character in the movie. That man Wesley Snipes just absolutely nailed this role. Pedro Serrano also carries the movie playing the spiritually in tune big man who just can't seem to hit the damn curveball. He serves up some of the funniest lines in the movie. You know, help me now. So fuck you, Joe Boo. I do it myself. And you know, Charlie wasn't bad either with his whole Wild Thing nickname going on. And I do want to point out that this movie is actually a group effort, as everyone does their job here to make this comedy the masterpiece that it is. By the way, I saw your wife at the Free Lounge last night. Hell of a dancer, you must be very, very proud. That guy she was with, I mean, I'm sure he's a close personal friend and all, but tell me, what was he doing wearing her panties on his head? And so the team starts the year off, and thanks to the good old coach, they're actually doing a lot better than anyone thought they would. And about mid-season, the Karen in training decides it's time to kick the sabotaging up a notch. So she screws with the plane, she makes them start taking the bus, like a high school baseball team, she's only giving them cold water in their clubhouse. But for whatever reason, this team just meshes really well and they can't stop winning. Coach Gammon really just gave no fucks. So what do you think about that? But you know, this movie is also so much deeper than that. There's this love story where the catcher is trying to get his old flame back just one more time to steal her away from the douchebag accountant. There's drama between teammates. I'm gonna cut your nuts off and stuff them down your fucking throat. Coffee, anybody? Charlie Sheen accidentally hooks up with someone's wife, and in the end they get a chance to play one final game to keep their franchise alive, to stay away from Florida and all those Florida men. Of course this game to keep their chances alive is against the notorious villain of the whole world, that is the New York Yankees, the bad guys of baseball. And they've just been whooping the Indians ass all year, especially some dude who just absolutely clobbers the baseball but he in reality looks pretty out of shape. He's actually played by former professional baseball player Peter Vukovic, who was actually a pitcher who of course never hit a home run in his entire 11 year career. He looks like he's in the dugout eating Frito pies. And I also just hate this scene where he spits in slow motion. You know, it's a close game, and in the top of the final inning, Charlie Sheen, aka Wild Thing, has to strike out the big bad hitter, Mr. Mustache. He does so lighting the radar gun up over 100 miles per hour. Wowzers. In the bottom half of the inning, they get Willie Mays Hayes on first base. He then steals second, and with two outs, the secret sweetheart of the movie, Jake Taylor, drops down a beautiful bunt and hustles his way to beat the throw down to first, even with his bad knees. 
I remember as a kid this scene always made me sad because for some reason I thought he died. Willie Mays Hayes who was already stealing on the play decides to go all the way from second to home. Something that's very risky to do on a bunt if you don't know. And after a very close play and an amazing but very unnecessary slide, he's called safe and they win their league. Jake Taylor gets the girl, Charlie gets punched in the face, and they all go home happy. You know I've seen Major League probably over 10 times throughout my life and something about this movie just makes it better and better every time I see it. The directing and the writing is just so clever. Just excuse me while I nerd out over this movie, but it's like, every time I watch it, I notice something that I didn't before and it makes it even funnier. You know, I feel like that's really what makes a movie good is, you know, putting all these hidden little gems. If you haven't seen this movie and it even seems somewhat up your alley, I say you give it a go. But there's some other movies out here that need to get reviewed. Hope you drop a like on the video today, that's all I want. Maybe a share. Either way, guys, I want to thank you for watching. It's been your bullet tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace.